Your cell phone rings. You don't recognize the number. What do you do? Ignore it. Ignore it. Send it to voicemail. Yeah, not this guy. I answer it. Yeah, exactly. Opportunity, potential. Who knows? Who knows what it is? The other day I was driving down the 405. Traffic. Phone rings, 917. New York. I'm like, oh. I don't know the number. I hit talk. I go, hello. Guy on the other line goes, hey, Bruce, what's going on? My name's Jay, not Bruce. So clearly I go, nothing much, man. What's going on with you? And he goes, I'll tell you what's going on. I just got an email about the budget. It's supposed to be 15000 Now it's 10000 I'd like to know what the hell's going on. And I grabbed the steering wheel. I was like, all right, fucking focus. Focus right now. Your name is Bruce. There's a budget. It's 15000 Now it's ten. No one's happy about it. Just get, go with this. Go with this. I didn't know much. I only knew what he told me, so I just set it back, and I go, 10000 It's supposed to be 15000 He goes, yeah, well, I just got an email, and now it's ten. And I go, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm on the road right now. I haven't even seen the email. And he goes, are you behind this? Did you send it out? Like, giving Bruce some attitude, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no way I am taking that. There's no way. And I go, listen, bro, the budget was 15000 We had a couple extra expenditures. It went up to sixteen two. I reworked it, got it down to fourteen seven. We had 300 to play with. I called it fifteen. I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well, now it's ten. And I was like, oh my God, that worked. <laughs> stay focused, stay focused. I'm not even enjoying it, you know what I mean? You, you, I can't even laugh, I have to stay, I'm like literally in it, I was just in it. He goes, did Larry okay this? Larry. Now he's throwing Larry at me, yeah. So I go, listen, I took it to Larry. He said it looked fine, but I knew it was my ass on the line, so I ran it by Jennifer, just in case. She said it looked good, I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well now it's 10. And I was like, this guy has no idea what's going on over there. He hasn't talked to Larry. He hasn't talked to Jennifer, I just made her up. Clearly he has not spoken to Bruce. He goes, listen man, what are we gonna do about this? I go, bro. I'm on the road right now. I haven't even seen the email. Why don't you call Larry, check in with him, see what's going on, give me a call back. <laughs> Literally like throwing the fishing line out, being like, please say yes, because that phone call return is going to be amazing. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, listen, why don't we wait till you get home, you check the email, you call Larry, you call me back. I go, nah, nah, bro. Larry knows way more about this than I do. Give him a call, call me back. He goes, okay, hangs up the phone. <laughs> to which I explode with euphoria. Because there's a small business in New York somewhere that's crumbling to the ground. Over $5,000, no one can find Bruce, no one's talked to Larry, and they don't know who the hell Jennifer is. Excitement. Not even done. I get home, I'm so excited. I call some friends, tell them what happened. I think to myself, you know what? I'm gonna save that guy's number. Give him a call in a couple days, check in, touch base, see where we're at. I save the number on my phone under random guy. He's a random guy. I don't think about it, couple days pass, no big deal. Laying on the couch, watching the game, phone rings, dining room table. Watching the game, get up, pick up the phone, look down, random guy. And I think to myself, random guy? I don't know any random guy. Who the hell is random guy? And then I was like, oh, random guy! <laughs> now I'm freaked out, you know what I mean? I'm in my house, they know where I'm at. People, people's lives have been affected. But this is who I am, you know what I mean? I started this thing, I'm gonna see it through to the end. That's how I saw this. Put in my earbuds, just to get a little distance, just get some distance, you know what I mean? I hit talk, I go, hello, same guy goes, hey Larry, what's going on? <laughs> now he's calling me Larry. He knows what's up, but I'm not gonna cave, you know what I mean? And I go, nothing much, man, what's going on with you? And he goes, listen, I got us on conference call with Janelle and Marie. <laughs> like I'm backing down from Janelle and Marie. So I go, uh, hey ladies. Welcome to the call. As if to say, welcome to the show. Here we go. 
how long are we gonna lie for? How long do you want me to lie? Because I am gonna go all the way. Marie, she takes the lead. She goes, hey, Larry, what time is it where you are? And I look at the clock and it's 5.30. And they're a New York company, so I go, 8.30. It's 8, they're like sprinkling more lies and like, I can fool them, I can fool them. She goes, really, what's the weather like? And I go, weather's nice, weather is nice. She goes, really, this doesn't sound like Larry. And I go, oh yeah, who's it sound like? And the guy who called both times, he chirps in. He's like, sounds like Bruce! Sounds like Bruce! Like he's gonna blow this case wide open, you know? <laughs> and I go, I go, guys, this isn't Larry and this, and this isn't Bruce. And she goes, who is this? <laughs> and I was like, I'm just some dude who had nothing better to do than to mess with you guys. Marie did not like that. She got pissed. She started yelling at me. She's like, we're a small business trying. I'm like, oh, I know. She's like, you think this is a joke? And I was like, eh, a little bit. She goes, let me ask you something. I go, no, you let me ask you something. And she goes, what? And I go, where are we at with the budget? 